and on the date of the accident, the engine runs again as a warning, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul. Kyoshi, what are you talking about? said Ichihiro. It's a ghost my driver told me he saw, replied Kyoshi. You know, the railway here hasn't been here long enough to have ghosts. Ichihiro was right. The Gensokyo Railway had only been around for a token few years. Ichihiro left, leaving Kyoshi behind to ask his driver. Is it true you saw a ghost engine, he asked. His driver left. Heh, it was only a pretend story from a book I bought at Kurindu. Kyoshi was disappointed. He was finishing up work at the Zanzu Harbor when the sun was setting. Kyoshi liked running at night. He had memorized the line and knew where he was going. However, a cart filled with lime had lost a wheel on an unguarded crossing and was stuck. Its owner went to find some tools to fix it. Kyoshi careened down the line and smashed into the cart, covering himself in white lime. He continued on to the next signal box where a hero was waiting. The signal woman came out and, at, and his driver told her what had happened. You should get cleaned up or everyone would think that you're a ghost, his driver said. I've heard of dead humans and yokai being feared by Kamachi, but not engines. The firewoman laughed. As his crew were joking about the prospects of Kyoshi being judged by Eki, an idea flew into his funnel. Hey driver, don't wash me down yet. I want to give Ichihiro a good scare. I'll help too, said Ahiro, and the two made a plan. Kyoshi's driver and firewoman quickly took some paint, paper, cardboard, and some wire. They cut the cardboard into a triangle and painted a swirl, and made Kyoshi a Hitai Kakushi to place on top of his smoke box. You look like a real Yurei, said Kyoshi's driver, pleased by her work. The firewoman agreed. Yeah, if Yuyuko had six wheels and yellow paint, Ahiro arrived at the shed where Ichihiro was preparing to take his evening train. There's been an, uh, 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 out with it, Ahiro said. Ichihiro, there's been an accident. What accident? Kyoshi crashed, and and Kyoshi had an accident. Where did he crash? I don't want my train to get delayed because he, of all engines, crashed. Ahiro paused dramatically with a look of complete shock. On my way here, I saw Kyoshi's ghost. I mean, the line's clear, but he continued. Good, interrupted Ichihiro. I'm not worried, and you shouldn't be too. What you saw was probably enough. Ooh, came a voice. What's that? said Ichihiro, now feeling some sort of dread. Let me in! Let me in! came the ghostly voice. No, no, not by the smoke from my chimney chim chim, said Ahiro. I'll chuff, and I'll puff, and I'll break your door in! Ichihiro now looked visibly scared. Well, I, um, I'll, I... The doors opened, re revealing a white-limed, covered Kyoshi with a Hittite Kakushi in front of his funnel, which completely convinced Ichihiro that Kyoshi's crash really was that bad. I think I'll go get my ch ch, -ch train I think it's late, said Ichihiro, rushing out of the shed and towards the station. The next morning, Ichihiro pulled into the big station with Ahiro resting by the next platform over from him. What happened to you, Ahiro said. I slept in the goods yard, and I didn't want to intervene with your grieving about Kyoshi. Just as Ichihu finished with his excuse, a whistle blew in the distance. This scared the daylights out of Ichihu, and he quickly puffed out of the station. It was just Kyoshi, all cleaned up and ready for the day's work. He had heard everything. I don't know about Ichihiro, but I think he looks like he had seen a ghost, Ahiro said. Kyoshi couldn't have been more pleased.